death to the heathens. A little gentle pause in the music, followed by death to the heathens. I mean, there's a tiny little corner over here we didn't explore, but I guess, uh... Maybe we head up this way, looking oh, for, um... Hey, Lord. The longsword survival. This also gives you a, an idea of who has the most survivability. They're already really good against the arrow, so I don't know that it makes sense to make them that much better to like round off their weaknesses instead. Gonna need any more wood unless we start building a lot of archers. So let's uh, pull you guys up here to the farming for a bit. Okay. So what are we building? We're probably building knights, which are gold and food. We're we building pikemen, which are iron and food. And I guess we'll build archers. Which are golden wood. So we'll need some wood, but not very much. I guess we'll have one of you keep gathering wood. Right away. Yeah. Okay. We got no idle villagers. All right, you guys are hunting for uh, hunting for stone, and you found nothing. All right, off you go this way. We'll find where the enemy is, and I don't think I've got to go all the way back to the. Um... Tell you what, the noble Sir William here. To avoid you getting in trouble, we'll have you come all the way down here looking for a little corner hidden stone zone. to attract them to attack us but just figuring out where this path goes would be good we must fight Let's find like a little. You guys were guarding some stone, right? That that makes sense. With all my heart. Well, there's a little Normandy village here. Overthrew. With my honor. 
Welcome to our village made of stone, which kind of is. Oh, hey. Greetings to you. So it be resources you are needing, eh? Well, we will give you all that we have. Oh, wow. So they gave us a bunch of stone. Like, we didn't even have to, um... With all my heart. There's Siege Engineer. So we don't have to set up a mining operation here, but if we want to, we can. All right. Um, in the case, I think it's time to start building up uh, these take one. We've got about 30 more that we can have, and we also need siege. So let's build about 20. One, two, three. No, no, I don't want you guys. It's the long swords I want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And we'll get about seven archers coming. And, uh,. How much of these? How much are these each? Two hundred each, he said. Thank you for your business. Oh, well, five hundred each. Another? Five hundred each. Thank you for your. And business. trebuchets are all I'm interested in because another? we can knock Thank down their walls with those. I just. To another? So I just realized that our time is up. I hadn't quite realized that. So I'm going to call it a video here, and when we come back next time, we will actually... I didn't realize you have to come all the way up here to get the stone. Uh, if we decide we need more than three trebuchets, we can come mine for stone. But I think at this point, we've sort of got what we need for mining. Um, it's going to take a while to build all these troops, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to call it a video, and we're just going to let troops build. And when we come back next time, we will have our full army ready to go. All right, catch you then. So you guys are going to miss just troops populating, and that's it. And, and uh, part of me is going to want to... Um... Oh, the next video is going to be so freaking short, though. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish it. And uh, I might have to split it after the fact so that we'll get like two 20 some odd minute videos. Yes, my lord. Because we came over here and we found resources. If we come over, if we just go all the way up here, we just got a big old fight. I'm gonna throw it on a save. We can mess this up. But honestly, we can't really. The worst, unless we get William killed, we can't really mess this up. All we can do is make it so that we lost a bunch of forces and I need to build reinforcements. And we've got enough resources. It's not letting us populate. So why don't we just build a settlement? Right away. And we'll populate it, and we'll build another settlement and populate it. I'm just burning off a bunch of my uh, civilians so I can have more troops. Yes. 
And again, this is just to give us a bigger army. And I'm just going with long swordsmen and uh, and archers because they don't take up as much population as uh, knights do. Yes, my lord. Death to the heathen. I'll take care of our uh, unnecessary civilians. We're running out of wood at long last because I've built that many archers. But we're going to hit our pop limit. Now, I don't know if it's worthwhile. That might be a thing that you can just always spend points on. I don't know how many of these things will have a population limit. Uh... Farming, fishing, gold mining, hunting, foraging. 15% pop cap. I think we should just go ahead and get that in any scenario. Oh, wait a second. Yes. Okay. You guys go to work. Yeah. It's for. It's yeah. bothering me not to have this fully pop max though, so we'll pull somebody over here, even though it's silly. Okay, and I think we might hit our pop cap before every single one of these guys is built. Yeah, we should have a big enough army to do this. Plus 15% pop cap, fully maxed out. It's uh, it's going to be a matter of whether I can protect my arbalists. So. Oh, which I did not level up at all. Uh, ah, shit. Of course they cost wood. None of these guys are close to wood. Yeah, that was, that was foolish. Well, I mean, I don't have to max out my arbalists. This is, this is, this is a fun thought. Can pull the. I can even just have the knights stay back with uh, Prince William here to uh, protect them. Okay. 
At your service. All right, big old army. Main thing I wanted of the trebuchets is range. Their attack is fine. Area effect isn't really going to... Isn't apparently something I can increase. I could do speed or hit points, but the main thing is going to be range. Well, that's a lot of archers. Might even be able to beat this place without siege weapons with all these guys, but probably not. The towers do tend to make quick work of them. I'll leave these knights behind. They're just, they're just chilling out. You are a pikeman. I don't even care about you, whatever. Pikeman who managed to survive. This last little quadrant up here is where the final enemy uh, castle lies. Could have left the gate this way and gotten here too. William is here for healing and for using his war cry to weaken enemy units. Here we go. Now we know what's there. Do they need to be within line of sight? There we are. So we'll certainly batter down there. Uh, there'll be a question of just how much we want to, because their troops are inside the gates. How much do we want to send uh, our men in, and how much do we want to use the uh, ballista here? Because they have towers within their uh, gates as well, I believe. Okay, run away. Now get out of there, what are you doing in the middle of them? And uh, Ballista, you guys don't probably need to be attacking uh, quite this way either. This might be my fault if I was... Uh, yeah, I think I hit the wrong button. I think I was trying to summon my regular ground guys and accidentally summoned... Uh, my hero unit. And these are leveled up towers to the extent that you can level them up. Yeah, but I think we've got enough. What do we actually have to do to win? Sorry, um... 
Just attack the stronghold. Just, I, like, I wonder if there's a specific hero unit we're supposed to defeat. Oh, this is going to take forever. The gates have so many hit points. Well, you guys can come in and start doing a little damage. Everyone is hitting this one little point here, but the entire gate is being damaged. And that's why the gates have so many hit points, because it's like 10,000 versus 20, but you are taking out a huge chunk of space for troops to pour in. So this will be it. Just get in there. We're gonna take losses now, but. We'll certainly have them outnumbered and. I think this is it. Yeah, you have to take out the keep. Capital? I don't know about the capital. The keep? Yeah, you gotta get the keep. And is that what it even says? Destroy his castle. Well, that's probably what this keep is, right? Oh no, it's the cat. Yeah, they said keep in the dialogue, but then the game engine says it's a castle. I just decided to come do a one on one battle with this tower. I can't believe that didn't work. Alright, so this is the right call. Powering through, and now I'll just have to split this video after the fact, but... Because I had, like, a nothing video left after uh, the point where I was going to split it. Wow, it, like, rebuilt itself briefly so it could collapse again. The keep is in ruins. To stay in has been defeated. My own men are being crushed by the building as it collapses on top of them. Look at those fine semi-modern glass ceilings. Heck, heck, heck. All right. Oh, the workshop has been defeated. Well, it's... Bandits have been defeated. Let's see, Lord Tustain, Normandy. I wonder who the bandits were. Do not know. So, we've got goats. They said explore side paths. I guess this is what they meant. This was a footpath. That led us to this place where we could get stone as a plot point. Um, there's this big chunks of forest with no purpose to them. I don't think we... Uh... Yeah, there would never have been a point in building a uh, harbor, even if we were allowed to. Because it doesn't look like there's any fish in the river. Um, bandits were maybe... Oh, these were probably bandits. Yep, bandits. Okay, so these guys were not... Officially part of uh, Lord Castello Force. They were just some dudes who were mining and uh, didn't want us to steal their golden iron. So they didn't want us to steal it, so we had to murder them. But yeah, like you compare the two cities, so they were pretty close to each other. We, we put a farm, we were, we were growing uh, grain through the bricks here, but otherwise it's like, okay, you got some military buildings, but you also had a university. Um, a hospital, a church, or temple. Their building, their, like, similarly sized thing was just, like, they did have a capital, in fairness, but it's pretty much just, like, a bunch of towers and a keep. So, I think people are going to enjoy civilian life under us more than, than under these guys, where there actually were no civilians, as far as I can make out. 
So let's call it here. We will look at the statistics. We had the greatest military ever. We did not have the best economy because other people had like, you know, more buildings, I guess. We killed the most units by, we lost quite a few though, but um, we didn't lose any buildings because nobody ever attacked our buildings. We had the biggest army. Got pretty ridiculous at the very, very end, as it often does. We got a, we got the most research counts because we researched, as you can see, 1,836 technologies. Um, so our force, we we lost a few guys. This is when we were fighting at the gates. This must have been when we attacked the mining camp. And then we like shot up and then we lost a whole bunch of guys during that last fight. Because once I knew that we'd won, I got very sloppy and I wasn't worried about. Like there comes a point where it's difficult to attack a base full of troops and towers because uh, you want to send your troops in to fight their troops and then they get killed by towers. And the only alternative is to keep having your siege weapons attack their towers and try to kill their troops as they attack your siege weapons, which is the right way to do it. I just wasn't. Yeah, you know, just didn't have enough uh, patience to do it the correct way. And as ever, I dominated the uh, click, the mouse clicks. So that's it. And uh, I, uh, as you can see, I was trying to figure out what type of unit a knight is and what would be the right way to power it up. But I think I need to stick with um, ground. Tr like the knights are, they're faster. I guess they do more damage, but they take two population instead of one. Like. I kind of need to have a very specific time is of the essence before I ever want to build them. But, uh, yeah, we're going to call it a video here because I accidentally closed the program and that would have been time to call it a video anyway. But when we come back next time, uh, we'll get to play as a jester for a while. Huzzah. Literally.